Hey guys, coming at you from Rose City Buds. Uh, I'm actually going to talk about fungus gnats today, uh, how to get rid of them actually. Uh, so I got these gnats from getting a clone from somebody that had them. And it's pretty much just spread from this plant all over to this and it's not good uh, so they're really really small they're very hard to see I don't see many flying around a lot they're mostly they mostly crawl around on this this part of the pot uh, the adults do now the larvae they they stay in the soil that's what's that's what's really gonna mess up your plant uh, if you don't catch it fast and see if you just can get rid of them so the method I'm using uh, is gonna be nematodes you can order a pack of 8 million off of Amazon for pretty cheap like 10 12 bucks uh, they're they're really good for getting rid of gnats uh, I've tried everything else and this is probably the best best method out of all of them so before you add the nematodes you want to let your plant completely dry out uh, which is weird because you actually after your soils dried out you're gonna have to keep it moist once you've added the nematodes um, first you want to start off by before you add the nematodes you want to kinda what I'll usually do is I'll grab a vacuum or something like that and just vacuum maybe an inch of soil off the top not enough to get down to the roots or anything like that but just enough to kind of suck up the larvae because that's where they're going to be at is the top couple layers of soil and uh, and after that you're going to want to add the nematodes so there's enough soil off of this already for me to just add them and then add some more soil on top of them I found this works the best you don't have to do it this way but this is the way I'm gonna do it and I've seen really good results from doing this so you want to grab your nematodes uh, I'm just gonna grab one pack for now this is one million nematodes so that that should really be enough for one plant maybe if it's a bad infestation I'd add two so basically you just spread them out over the top not much to it try to even them all out and also you want to rip this pack open uh, you can just set it in the soil, but it the nematodes get in the soil faster if you rip it open. So next, so next I'm gonna go ahead and add the soil. Now you don't have to add much, just enough to cover the nematodes that you put on the soil. Try this again. And also guys, uh, if, if you come across a pack of nematodes that's like 250 million, that's that's enough for a small farm I made the mistake of adding all 250 million to one plant before 
and wasted 60 bucks uh it's better to it's better to add them in small amounts at maybe one two weeks apart from each other yeah but if you do happen to do that it, it won't hurt your plant um so after you you've got your soil your nematodes everything like that last thing is going to be watering and keeping the soil moist uh, for about three, three to five days, and then after that, I would, I would still uh, spray the top of the soil with like a foliar, foliar sprayer thingy. <laughs> To keep the top of the soil moist. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, make sure you keep that s top layer of soil moist. Uh, that'll help the nematodes reach all the way up there and eat the those larvae that that get laid overnight or whatever in that soil. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video also uh, if there's anything I may have missed or forgot to mention uh, please comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for watching